Hi everyone, this video is going to be about Mr. Laggy, a lag testing device by Martin Donlin, aka Wickerwaka, a developer that has worked on many cores and now is bringing us this cool project. This device can help you measure the latency or lag on your display device. Just what is latency? In this context, it is the amount of time between when a device like a console sends a signal until that signal gets output to a display device. We want that time to be as low as possible because that determines the responsiveness of your gaming. Mr. Laggy can accurately measure that time and help you choose the best display for your gaming. Lag is more relevant for modern displays. With most CRTs, lag isn't an issue, but there are some that process the image before displaying it, and that processing will add lag. Now, let me show you how Mr. Laggy works. So to use Mr. Laggy, you will need to make sure you have the core installed. To do that, go to the utilities folder and you should see the Mr. Laggy core. If it's not there, then you should update your Mr. to obtain it. To connect Mr. Laggy, you will need to take a USB cable with USB-C in one side and USB-A on the other. Connect the USB-C side to Mr. Laggy and the USB-A side to the user port on the Mr. FPGA. Okay, so now I'll run the core and I'm greeted to this screen with the three flashing boxes and some measurements in the middle. I'll take Mr. Laggy and first take the side with the sensor and put it in a dark part of the screen until I see the top text saying no sample. This isn't really required, it's just something that I like to do. Then I'll slide Mr. Laggy and put it on top of the flashing white box on the top. You will see numbers in the middle changing until they start to settle. And they are currently settling at around 27 milliseconds. Let me also tell you what each number means. The top number displays the current latency from the most recent measurement. The average number displays the average latency from the last 16 measurements. Minimum represents the lowest measurement from the last 16. And max represents the highest measurement from the last 16. Now let's move on. There are three boxes because a display usually draws the screen from top to bottom. So the measurement at the top will be faster than the bottom measurement. Now I'll move Mr. Laggy to the middle. Wait until the measurement starts to settle at a number. And in the middle, I'm getting about 34 milliseconds. Finally, I'll put Mr. Laggy on the bottom box and I'm getting around 40 milliseconds. These measurements show that I'm getting about one frame of lag from this display. This is because at 60 Hertz, each frame takes 16.7 milliseconds to draw on screen. And at a 40 millisecond measurement at the bottom, this monitor is taking a little over an extra frame to draw the screen. These results were done at 1080p. However, you also have some other options available. By pressing the button map to start on your controller, you can select one of Mr. supported resolutions. And you can also change the refresh rate and aspect ratio. Different configurations can affect the display latency, so you will want to play around with this to determine the best config. When you settle on a configuration, just select Apply Changes and the core will reset itself with those configs you set up. If you choose a config that's incompatible with your display, then just hit the user button to reset the core to the default settings. And that's a quick overview on how Mr. Laggy works. I took some measurements at 720p with this monitor and I got an average of 7.2 milliseconds at the top, 14.2 in the middle, and 20.8 at the bottom. So I'm getting less than one frame of lag at 720p. Here is another portable monitor I have. At 720p, I'm getting an average of 8.4 milliseconds at the top, 16 in the middle, and 25.4 at the bottom. The 1080p results are 10.5 milliseconds at top, 17 in the middle, and 24.3 at the bottom. So at both resolutions, I'm getting under one frame of lag for this device. And now just for fun, let me check one of my CRTs. I'm getting an average of 1.2 milliseconds at the top, 7.1 in the middle, and 13.8 at the bottom. So as long as the time at the bottom is at or under 16.7 milliseconds, it means I'm getting real time results for a 60 Hertz refresh rate. Anything higher than the 16.7 milliseconds is added lag. If you're wondering why the top isn't lower and the bottom is not exactly 16.7, that should be due to overscan. I'm hoping this device helps kicks off people sharing the latency for their televisions 
monitors, scalers, or whatever other device might be included in their display chain. It would be great to have a way of determining the latency of devices we may want to buy. Keep in mind that Mr. Laggy will not measure controller lag, only display lag. Your controller can also add lag to the experience and wireless controllers can add even more. To see what kind of lag you can expect from the controller, check out the database created by Mr. Addons and beautifully displayed in a website by Lemonichi. Many controllers have been tested, so it's a good resource for deciding on what to get. The software that's running can also add lag. Even something that you may have connected between Mr. and the display can add lag. So those are things that you should keep in mind. So Mr. Laggy can help diagnose which device on your chain is adding lag. If you're interested in obtaining one of these Mr. Laggy devices, head over to Martin's Tindy page to order one. Also, if you're curious about the displays I tested, I also provide a link in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.